Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. Her Royal Highness, the Consort of His Majesty, the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, congratulated Dr. Jawahar Shaheen Al Muhki on the issuance of the Royal Decree of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, appointing her as President of the University of Bahrain. Her Royal Highness affirms that this Royal Decree confirms the high status of Bahraini women and the confidence and their pride in their efforts and ability to contribute effectively to the comprehensive development process under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. She expressed pride in Dr. Al-Mdahki's appointment, wishing her success in assuming her new responsibilities and praising her experience and outstanding achievements in this vital field, which will further develop the higher education sector in the kingdom in line with the national plans to improve the output of the Bahraini education system. The Representatives Council held its weekly session shared by its speaker, Fozia Zainal. During the session, the council was briefed on the messages sent from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on decrees by law, draft law, the annual report and audited financial statements for the future generations reserve account. The council approved a proposal on the cancellation or transfer of the venue of the Little India market, which was to be held with the organization of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities opposite Al Sahaf Mosque in Manama. The Ministry, the Ministry of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa held an online meeting with heads and representatives of human rights organizations in Bahrain. This meeting, which is part of the Community Partnership and Human Rights Reinforcement, was attended by the Chief of Public Security and media representatives. The Minister of Interior delivered the following speech. <laughs> يسعدني أن نلتقي في هذا اليوم ويطيب لي بداية أن أشيد بدوركم الإنساني الهام مؤكدا أننا نضع يدنا بيدكم في المحافظة على القيم والمبادئ الإنسانية السامية والتي كانت حاضرة وبقوة وجلاء في الكلمة السامية التي تفضل بها سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه في افتتاح دور الإعقاد الرابع من الفصل التشريعي الخامس في المجلس الشورى والنواة وإذ أثمن عاليا المضامين الملكية السامية كونها تمثل خارطة الطريق للعمل الوطني وتعكس قرب جلالته من شعبه في مختلف المواقع والمناسبات فإنني أشيد بتوجيهات مليكنا المفدى بالبدء في وضع الآليات التنفيذية والبناء التحتية اللازمة لتبني برنامج مراكز الإصلاح والسجون المفتوح وفق ضوابط محددة مؤكدا أن هذه التوجيهات نابعة من الحرص القيادي والأبوي لجلالته على حماية النسيج المجتمعي ورعايته للجميع بمن فيهم من أخطأوا وحادوا عن جادة الصواب من أجل العمل على تأهيلهم وإعادة دمجهم في المجتمع وذلك امتدادا لما تحقق من نجاحات في برنامج العقوبات البديلة كمشروع وطني حضاري وإنساني يستهدف تطوير منظومة العدالة الجنائية ومواصلة الجهود الوطنية لتعزيز حقوق الإنسان الإخوة والأخوات لا يخفى عليكم بأن ملف حقوق الإنسان يمثل قصة نجاح وطنية في مملكة البحرين تضافرت في رسمها المؤسسات والجهات الرسمية والأهلية والتي استقت السند والدعم من رؤى سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعه التي جسدها ميثاق العمل الوطني والذي جاء ضامنا لحقوقنا جميعا ومعززا لمفهوم سيادة القانون واحترام حقوق الإنسان 
على أسس من الحرية والتسامح والتعايش المجتمعي واحترام الآخر بما يؤكد أن حقوق الإنسان في البحرين إرث حضاري وجزء لا يتجزأ من ثقافة المجتمع البحرين ولكن بالرغم من واقعنا الإنساني المشرف الذي تجسده الحقائق الواضحة إلا أن هناك ضجيجا إعلاميا وافتراءات إعلامية تحاول النيل من إنجازاتنا الإنسانية الوطنية وتدعو في مضمونها إلى التفرقة والاصطفاف الطائفي وغرس الألم الوطني إنه ولا شك إعلام تحريضي يشجع على نشر الفوضى والسؤال الذي يطرح نفسه من يخدم هذا النهج الإعلامي المضاد هل هو خدمة للأعداء والمتربصين إنه بدون شك لا يخدم مصلحة وتماسك شعوب المنطقة ليكن معلوم لهذه المنصات والقنوات الإعلامية ومن يختبئ خلف أخبارها المسيئة بأن الفوضى لن تعود ولن نسمح لها بأن تعود وإنها اليوم مرفوضة بحرينية وإن شعب البحرين ولله الحمد متماسك ولن يلتفت إلى مثل هذه الأخبار والأصوات ولقد تعلمنا من تاريخنا ومن تجاربنا كيف نتعامل مع الأزمات ونخرج منها بحال أفضل بعون الله وأن أمورنا الداخلية نحن أدرى بإدارتها ورعايتها وعلى كل حال فإننا جميعا نعمل بعزم وإرادة وإيمان صادق ضمن مساحات قائمة على المحبة والاهتمام والرعاية الملكية لشعب البحرين الراسخة في وجدان سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه وإن خير من ينفذ رؤى جلالته وتطلعاته المستقبلية السامية وبشهادة القاصي والداني صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد الأمين رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله ورعاه ويبقى العزم والإخلاص الوطني لشعب البحرين الأبي العلامة الفاصلة في تخطي الأزمات وتجاوزها الأخوة والأخوات إن الأمن الخليجي اليوم في ظل ما يشهده الإقليم والعالم في الواقع من تقلبات وتغيرات متسارعة يتطلب منا تسخير طاقاتنا من أجل جمع الكلمة وتعزيز الهوية حماية لأهلنا ولمكتسباتنا الحيوية ويمثل إعلامنا الوطني واجهتنا على العالم من خلال وجود استراتيجية إعلامية موحدة وأهدافها جامعة وختاما فإنني وفي ظل هذا الوضع أؤكد أن تلك المقالطات الإعلامية طوال هذه السنين لم تغير الروابط العائلية الحميمة بين المواطنين والعائلات المشتركة في دولنا لأنهم أكبر من هذه الأخبار والسحب الإعلامية المسيئة أسأل الله أن يوفقنا في حماية هويتنا الإنسانية الوطنية السمح في ظل قيادة راعي هذه المسيرة الخيرة المباركة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه
For his part, the chairman of the National Institution for Human Rights, Abdullah Drazi, highlighted Bahrain's role in reinforcing the human rights system to meet democratic principles as part of the reform project of His Majesty the King. He said that all look forward to enhancing the system according to international standards. The president of Bahrain Juris Society also delivered a speech in which he praised the role of Bahrainis in promoting human rights. The Minister of Interior listened to a number of comments and views by the participants about the efforts of Bahrain and its human rights initiatives. They highlighted that human rights are deep-rooted in Bahrain society and culture. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the President Qasim Jumarat Tokayev of Kazakhstan, along with His Majesty's wishes to the President for good health and success and to the friendly Republic of Kazakhstan of more progress, development, and prosperity. This took place as the President of Kazakhstan received at the Presidential Palace in Nur Sultan the foreign ministers of the countries participating in the sixth meeting of foreign ministers of the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia CICA. Minister Azayani has expressed his pleasure to participate in the meeting in Nur Sultan as well as his appreciation for the distinguished efforts made by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs led by the Minister of Foreign Affairs to organize the meeting. He expressed his hope that the results of the meeting will be a turning point in the process of the Asian Forum. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, participated in the sixth conference on interaction and confidence building measures, an Asian ministerial meeting which was held in Kazakhstan under the patronage of President Qasim Jumarat Tokayev. Of the Kazakhstan, shared by the Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan, Akan Rahmutilin, and in the presence of the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the CICA member states and the participation of CICA Executive Director Kairat Saribai. At the opening session of the meeting, the Foreign Minister delivered the following statement, in which he highlighted the vital role of regional and international cooperation and the critical importance of working together to address the common challenges. He affirmed the long standing principles and values that have always been part of the Bahraini culture and which have been given a renewed momentum by the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Among these are the importance of coexistence, dialogue and mutual respect that are the essential foundations of relations between states and peoples and the bedrock of enduring peace, security and prosperity. He affirmed Bahrain's firm belief in the importance of regional forms such as CICA because of uh, their ideal venues to put these principles into practice and to demonstrate the value of genuine regional cooperation in bringing real and practical benefits to Asian countries and people. The minister added that the Kingdom of Bahrain appreciates and fully supports the ICA as a valuable platform for mutually beneficial interaction between states in our region and an important venue for enhancing the individual and collective security as well as for promoting peace and stability across Asia. He welcomed the participation of so many member states and thanked the, CI, the CICA and Executive Director and the Secretariat for their extensive preparation for this meeting and expressed his confidence that the adoption of the various documents and decisions, they will be contributing substantially to advancing the work of the CICA and to achieving the shared goals. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Chairman of the current session of the GCC Ministerial Council, Dr. Abdel Latif Al Zayani, and GCC Secretary General, Dr. Naif Al Hadraf, held a meeting in Kazakhstan with the foreign ministers of the member states of the Central Asian Group, the C5, to discuss the establishment of a strategic dialogue between GCC countries and the countries of Central Asia. The ministers stressed the importance of promoting cooperation between GCC and the C5 and developing relations between the two sides in all fields, noting the depth of the historical 
historical and cultural relations. Dr. Zayani explained that the GCC Ministerial Council took a decision to hold a strategic dialogue between GCC and the C5 to discuss regional and international issues and cooperation in all fields, stressing the need to intensify joint efforts between the GCC countries and Central Asian republics to develop mechanisms of economic cooperation to increase trade exchange and encourage investment in various fields. The GCC Secretary General delivered a speech in which he stressed that the Central Asian countries are among the countries in which GCC leaders were interested in opening up ways to dialogue and cooperation as the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding is the first step in the strategic dialogue towers moving relations to broader areas in all fields. The C5 foreign ministers expressed their appreciation for the decision of the GCC Ministerial Council to hold a strategic dialogue, stressing the interests of their countries in promoting and consolidating friendship and cooperation relations between the two sides in various fields and at all levels. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Chairman of the current session of the GCC Ministerial Council, Dr. Abletli van Rashid Zayani, attended the signing ceremony of two memorandums of understanding on political consultations and cooperation between the GCC Secretariat and the Foreign Ministries of Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. The MOU was signed on behalf of Kazakhstan by Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs, Akan Rahmir Turin, and a behalf of Uzbekistan by Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdelaziz Kamilov. The two memoranda were signed on behalf of the GCC by GCC. GCC Secretary General Dr. Naif Falah Al Hajraf. The memorandum stipulated that the two sides shall hold regular consultations between them under the chairmanship of the GCC Secretary General, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Kazakhstan, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Uzbekistan or their representatives. The memoranda also stipulates the formation of working groups to discuss and many topics agreed upon by the two sides within the framework of dialogues and common interests, and that the consultation held by the two sides in the fields of cooperation include political and economic topics of common interest, as well as cooperation in the fields of culture, communication between people. The National Theatre of Bahrain hosted the launch of the Oxford Guide to Philosophy, which is the 43rd edition of the Knowledge Transfer Project in the presence of the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Amey bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Knowledge Transfer Project Manager, Dr. Al Tahar Labib. The BACA President affirmed that the project continues to emphasize the importance of communication between local and global cultural productions by translating major books and literature. Dr. Labib stressed that the goal of the Knowledge Transfer Project has been the transfer of knowledge and experiences globally to the kingdom and to the Arab world, considering that such efforts promote dialogue between people and cultures. The chairman of the board of directors of Alba, Sheikh Daij bin Salman Al Khalifa, participated in the 24th Arab German Forum of 2021 organized by the Arab German Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Sheikh Daij expressed his thanks and appreciation to the chamber for its vital role in enhancing the economic and commercial relations with Germany and praised the bilateral cooperation witnessed in all fields. He affirmed the strong relations between the two countries and added that the kingdom is a destination that attracts investments. He expressed his hope to further enhance cooperation with Germany, especially in the industrial field.